Okay. Uh, so, as you can see up there in the uh, in the top, we didn't do so hot this week. Hopefully, my PS4 isn't making too much noise. <laughs> you hear that uh, fan going crazy. But anyway, uh, so unfortunately, as you can see up there, we didn't do we didn't have too good a week. Um, it's a combination of things. Uh, for one, there were some pretty hard matches uh, this time around. Uh, for two, um, I was trying to like use Vector a lot, like in places he really shouldn't be used. So I was kind of forcing him, um, and that's kind of you know obviously that's that's my fault. But um, yeah, so I mean you know we'll see how we'll see how far we get. But uh, you know, <clears throat> like I said, we probably won't make tier twenty seven because I've been in positions where I was like tier twenty four and I didn't make it to tier twenty seven. Uh, well, let's just see how, how high we get anyway. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what you get for uh, messing around and, and kind of being an idiot. Um, as well as, like, we're short because, like, last week we had Lysithia, who... Lysithia doesn't do a whole lot. Most of it was just um, uh, CC Vantage sweeping with Felicia, but, like, Lysithia did something sometimes, which is pretty good, whereas uh, she does literally nothing. Um, yeah, you yeah. know. Uh, and I don't have any other. I don't have any of these other units. I mean, I have him, obviously, but uh, he's not built in any capacity. So I just went with her. She's got a lot more interesting stuff. We can take a look at what she has. Um, so we went down pretty far, which is all right because we're losing green feathers, uh, uh, green flowers. That's not that big a deal considering it's like for armors and stuff. And you know, personally, I don't really give too much. You know, I don't care too much about armor feather, armor flowers. Uh, both of the, the armor units that I did care about are already fully flowered, so not too big a deal. I'm just kind of justifying to myself, like, my poor performance. Uh, again, but this is also another thing, right? So, like, these yellow fl these yellow flowers, I'm calves, I really don't care. I don't have any calves I, I care about other than, um, uh, what's her name? Petrine and Veronica, and they're already fully flowered, so <laughs> there you go. Uh, and then lastly, on defense... I uh, didn't do to didn't do too well, and this is actually my real defense. But I did change some stuff up, so I want to kind of see how that went, and we'll we'll go over that today in the uh, later today in the um, defense recap. But yeah, that was kind of interesting to me. Um, <clears throat> yeah, because this defense is like, like I said, it's my good defense, and it's usually not this bad. So either the small changes that I did do uh, ended up costing me something there, or uh, you know I don't know. We'll see. So let's get in there. So if I get the pots, it'll be up to. Two, it'll be up to 150 um, and that'll give me a, a full attack and a half uh, 20 more plus 10 is only 30 so after this these pots that I get in this one um, if I get them anyway it shouldn't be a I shouldn't have to worry about pots going forward okay <clears throat> so this is interesting this is actually a pretty annoying looking defense so Unfortunately, she is going to be a huge pain, um, just because of how much, like how uh, how strong close call is. Like people don't really understand how strong a forty percent damage reduction is, uh, usually. But in this case, seeing as my Felicia is comparable speed, I think we should be okay to to a pretty large degree. So what I think my plan is going to be is, um, <clears throat> so that's that, so that is put Felicia here. I guess trigger whatever is going on here. Um, like smite her here, uh, hit her, then uh, dancer, and then hit her, and then everybody else shouldn't be too big a deal. Hopefully, uh, what you want is going to reset my cooldown, which is fine. Um, this guy's not going to do a whole lot of damage. Yeah, thirty-seven, not much damage, and then he doesn't have the other thing, so he's just here to apply the witchy wand effect, which is okay. Yeah, per attack during combat. Um, so, th yeah, so there's that. Uh, <clears throat> I'm actually, personally, getting kind of annoyed at the, like, I don't know, just, just, just annoyed in general at how difficult it's, it's like, it is to tank the seer. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But yeah, I don't know, I'm getting kind of, I'm getting kind of annoyed by the fact that, like, every Thrasir... Like I said, like my Altina has decent res, like 40 something res, you know, theoretically. And she can't tank a Thrasir. It's like, without the, uh, I, I gave her the um, deflect magic thing. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's alright. It's just, 
it, it's just it's annoying uh, having to deal with the fact that like nobody can apparently tank their seer who only has like 52 attack um yeah I don't know let's see so let's this is giving someone buffs which is good ice defense plus res it's probably her she's got this which is gonna give her debuffs as well uh, this is gonna be probably the bigger one of the bigger threats uh, she's pretty fast um, yeah, just plus the serious special is always an irritance. Yeah, but I think that's how I'm gonna go. I'm gonna hit her, hit her, and then um, she's gonna hit me twice, or she's just gonna move and do something. Um, but yeah, I'll probably wait until this hits. Well, I don't know. We'll see if this is a trap or not. Um, let's see, we need you here, we need you kind of over here somewhere. Oh no, you there. Um, partially I'm thinking about just baiting her out, like put her here. She's gonna double me, but like I said, I have deflect magic so it shouldn't be too bad. And she has no attack apparently. We're all gonna take this minus seven, but we got the healing tower so that's fine. And then... Just move her out of the way and then have Felicia kill her and then take care of everyone else after that. I'm thinking, now that I'm thinking about it, that actually looks like a pretty good plan. So, I think I'm going to do that. I don't think she's going to kill me. And she doesn't have, let's see, she's going to come all the way down here to hit me and then she's just going to like, do nothing because there's nothing she can do. Um, and even if like, somehow, for some reason, she gets an attack in, I think my Altina should be fine. But I've said that before and then nothing good ever comes from it. Uh, so let's take a look at what's going on here. So everybody's just taking the... F uh, oh, that she's taking the 7 because of the fright. actually don't know. Oh, it's a chill. <clears throat> he has a... Uh, oh, okay, so this is the point of this guy. He's just supposed to be humongously tanky. Um, so you're taking this, you're taking that, you're taking that. Okay, so that's fine. So yeah, I think I'm just going to bait her out and get rid of her. Um, just because, like, she never does all that much damage to begin with. But just having her there is kind of annoying, especially because of these buffs from this. So let's just try to like get rid of her first and then we'll take care of everyone else. Especially because like, let's see, uh, yeah, actually no, let's swap spaces. Let's put you here and then you here. Well, actually we'll put you here and then you here. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't know, whatever. Let's just put you here and bait her out and go forward from there. Whenever you put Veronica on your defense team, you really want to make sure she does. She has more a, a, a plus, a push four skill because this is not going to work after turn one. And the biggest strength of Veronica is that like people don't, aren't always going to be running null C disrupt. Um, so what the point is is if she goes in there, hits twice, and you want to be you want to have a dancer in range of where she can hit. So because she can hit here, she can stand here. You needed to. This person needed to have put this dancer in a place where she could reach here and dancer, so that she can hit someone standing in these two positions twice, um, and really put them in a hard spot. But it's not that big a deal. Um, what I'm hoping is she'll come hit this way. She'll she'll move this way and then get danced and then hit her and then she'll die. But I kind of doubt she'll die. Like, take a look at this. Almost 40 res. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not much else to say, and you'll see, uh, she'll probably die anyway. So let's take a look at what happens here. I forgot to put on animations, unfortunately. Well, actually, that actually did quite a bit of damage, so... Um, which is kind of odd, considering uh, how little attack she has. Like, look at that. She has 37 attack, and somehow she did insane amounts of damage. To a, 40, a nearly 40 res unit. Right, That that's kind of... <laughs> <laughs> it dates me to no to no to no end. Oh, and I actually should have put her here because she has the the, the distant guard. Uh, but I'm, you know, kind of dumb. Um, <clears throat> so I guess you're gonna be here maybe because no one no one's gonna hit her. So yeah, I'm gonna put you here. What is your desire? Because. I need to get her to start moving up here and work on this. <clears throat> so she can hit here. I'm gonna put you here, even though they're not gonna attack her. What is? Where is she getting all these debuffs from? Oh, it's because the minus four from all that stuff. 
you're now okay so yeah she's gonna die i was just like worried about like because she has debuffs too now and i was like yeah i was hoping she wouldn't die um let's hope you don't die here in this position um and then we'll move you This map is kind of awkward for non-flying ones. Like, I love this map when people use it on um, on light season, right? Because they use, obviously you use these lavas to your advantage. You're like, okay, no one, this is going to block people off. So if they, you know, no one's going to come through here. So they kind of leave it a little open. Um, you know, which is good, again, like I said, for flyers. But uh, here, it's uh, it's not so good. Uh, let's put you here. And we'll start moving you up a little bit. Let's put you there. Okay, so now... <clears throat> Theoretically, Thrasir Thrasir should do that. <clears throat> okay, perfect. Uh, and then their dancer is gonna do nothing, I guess. Okay. You have my trust. So she's not in range, and he is, is in range. Let's hit this. What is your desire? Consider okay, so here's my plan. I'm going to put her there, hit her. Yeah, hit her. With utter certainty. Yeah, she has no movement, right? So she's stuck there. Yeah. Kill you right off the bat. So she can't move now. Uh, I guess I'm going to miss this pot here. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, she, she probably moves slow enough that I can probably do something about that. So I can kill her. <laughs> The <laughs> problem is I have that, uh, that thing is not okay to have there. Um, so I guess like the worst thing that could happen, like I really, because here, here's the thing, I really need to kill her because when she heals up, she's going to be hard, way harder to kill. Um, let's go see what's going on here. Five, five, seven, and seven. Yeah, because when she heals up from her healing tower, 20, so she's at 35, she's going to be really difficult to kill. So you're barely gonna thirty like she she'll be up to thirty five HP and I'm gonna hit her for thirty nine. Um, is my main concern there. Oh, I saw something in the patch notes or something. Someone was saying I think um, Phoenix Master One's video was like they're reducing the importance of this or something. Like this is not gonna matter as much, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> I want to risk this. It's not that big of a risk, right? Because if I kill her, well, yeah, if I don't kill her, she's going to come over here and fight with me, and I'm not sure I'll survive that. Okay. That's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a fake one. What is your desire? Okay. Let's just see what happens, and I ah, keep forgetting to put animations. Okay, cool. I killed her. That's fine. Um, perfect. <clears throat> so, let's go put on animations, or... With utter certainty. Okay, so she can't survive that. Yes. She can't. He can't kill her, right? So, oh, actually, he might be able to, considering how uh, low on the HP she is there. Oh, that's interesting. I can't kill her with her because her speed is so low that I'm not doing. I'm barely doing any damage. That's kind of interesting. Um, actually, I'm just gonna hit this with her, and then she's kind of like she can't do very much. I can just like walk this way and be fine, right? Yeah. How many turns do I have left? Okay, so, <clears throat> so um, um, this is kind of concerning a little bit because of uh, just the idea that let's see, let's go here. Uh, this this girl right here might this girl right here might not die <clears throat> so easily. <clears throat> yeah, so does no damage. Um, basically, see how much damage she does. She doesn't do anything either. Um, see what you can do. Okay, so she. Okay, so there we go. We're basically solid now. And I can't kill this guy. Perfect. Uh, perfect. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, what do I do here? So I guess we'll have to kill you first. Hopefully I can. Uh, let's hit you with this. So 
So two sworded, uh, two a double sword wielder versus another double sword wielder. <clears throat> See if I can kill you with this. Yep. So so now <laughs> now I have to figure out what's going on here. Damn it. Uh, he still shouldn't do any damage to like anybody. I mean maybe her. Thirty seven. Yeah, she he might do damage to her, but <clears throat> he can't reach. I think. Yeah, he can't reach. So just hit you. Um, okay. farce. Oh, and then my attack is like reduced like crazy. Of course. Consider it done. Okay, we'll put you there for now. If he move, he needs to move to this spot. <sighs> of course, he didn't move to the spot I needed him to. Uh, what does he have lower of? He has lower res. Okay, so he kind of he basically debuffed himself there, which is good. I am tired of this thing being here. It's like getting on my nerves. Thirty-seven. I'm still. I'm just like super concerned about like him doing any damage, which I think he shouldn't, right? My res, my entire res stat is bigger than his, and I'm taking only half damage. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna move forward and get rid of this. Onward. Okay. Yes. Think about it. Let's start moving everybody up. So hopefully we kill him on this turn, because if not, it's gonna suck. So he's debuffing himself here, which is good. He's taking the minus 7 to speed, minus 7 to defense and res, right? Theoretically? No. So that, those didn't last. You have my trust. Um, and of course I am, uh, once again, let's see. With utter certainty. Thank you. There we go. That's what I, that's what I wanted. Uh, yeah. So there we go. He, he should be dead. <laughs> okay. So thank goodness. Uh, because if if that trap had been on the the left, then uh, we would we might have we might have lost this because I don't know if we would have done enough damage to him. Okay. So now we hit him with that. Let's see. Let's take a look at this. So thirty one. This is what I was thinking about. Like, so. Her, she would have come down, hit him if at full health, right? If 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 it weren't for this, like it, let's pretend this didn't happen. So I hit him, done that, uh, hit him with these debuffs, and then I would have danced and hit him again. And that was my concern was maybe he would survive that. Uh, but it's looking like we're okay. Um, yeah. So thirty one two times would have been sixty something, and I think he would have died even if we didn't get that trap. So that's cool. Thirty one. Yep. Perfect. Uh, and we got both of the pots, so now we don't have to worry about pots going forward. Uh, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Oh, and, you know, well, it's kind of funny. Like, I really shouldn't be doing, um, hundreds at a time. Like, you want to go by 50. Because I don't have the, uh the escape ladder anymore, but eh, it's fine. Like I said, we're not going to make tier 27, so it's not like, like, there's no point in like sitting there, like seriously min-maxing all this like nonsense, trying to make sure you're, you're whatever. <clears throat> so this team looks kind of weird. Uh, she is of course going to be excessively strong. Um, like even like taking Roy, like legendary Roy or regular Roy, plus six to all stats with bonus doubler to her usually gets you killed. Like, well, maybe not usually, that's kind of an exaggeration, but like, damn, I have had my legendary Roy, uh, die to, <laughs> die to, um, Rinkas, so, and not even like plus 10 Rinkas, like, like a Rinka like this. So, 
something to be weary about. She's she can be a huge pain if you attack into her. When when she attacks you, it's not as bad because like this one, units HP is less than 100. Uh, yeah, so something to consider. Still, she's gonna be pretty annoying. Uh, that bonfire is no joke. This right here, like this is going to probably get me killed. Okay, so she's gonna drop. I think the play here. Oh, actually, never mind. There's no play. Uh, not to mention she's also pretty fast. Yeah, I think I, can, I think I can outspeed her though. Part of me wants to uh, <laughs> vector this, right? Because I can smite vector onto that uh, purple trap tile right there. And then, um, well, I mean, yeah, not much else to it. Just put them there. Let that, uh, what's her name here? Let the Flora hit her, hit him. Um, and then just proceed to kill everyone else. But the thing is, uh, I won't have any kill potential on that, on that Rinka. Because I don't have any mage, I don't have any magic uh, power other than, um, what's her name? Naga, and Naga is blue, so she gets the reduction from the fact that she's weapon advantage. Uh, so this is kind of interesting, actually. Mm -hmm. Because what I could do is maybe put... I guess I, I think here's my plan. I think I'm just going to like smite Felicia here. Uh, try to kill her, if I can. Uh, and then just leave her there. Or, or maybe like dance her, and then kill her. So close quarters, she gains these bonuses. My tower's here. Oh, it's gonna get popped by him anyway. Yeah, that's kind of my thoughts right now is uh, popping her. And then, uh, Hitting her, maybe. Because if I don't kill her, she's going to get this charged. The bonfire is going to hit me, and I'm just going to die. Hmm. This is actually pretty tricky. Oh, actually, yeah. I have this magical damage to take care of Rinka, maybe. Her. Just dance her and hit her twice. That looks pretty interesting. Um, do I want to take that? Yeah, it might just be a simple matter of, like, putting Bike here, letting her die on him, hitting her, uh, like, leaving... I need to leave this here, right? Then hit this and then put um, Veronica here and just wail at her until she dies. But the thing is, well, yeah, she'll move, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully she'll move. Uh, if I'll, So she has a lot of uh, enemy phase gear or just like stuff on her for the survive enemy phase. Ugh. This is actually kind of disgusting. Maybe I should just start by like ridding myself of some of these... Man, it's, see, like, it's one of those things where it's, like, it's funny because, like, these, um, these maps with the lava aren't that big a deal when you're on light season because I run flyers, but, uh, right now it's like, oh, well, there you go. This is what, this is what it's like to play against these maps, uh, for regular people. Um, but yeah, so let's see. You know what I think would be cool? Like a flyer dagger unit. That'd be pretty interesting. I mean, we have like air, obviously, but then we also have, uh, what's her name? Actually, yeah, maybe. I, want, I wonder, I guess I can, I want to think about, now I want to think about a, a uh, an Astro Season Camilla. Uh, the, the, um, the Hot Springs Camilla. Hmm. That does sound kind of interesting. She has higher, anyway, but we'll talk about that in a different uh, video at some point. Um, flora, 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 flora. Because Flora will probably die to, um, what's his name, to Vector, and then, 
19 res, that is some sad res. What does my Becter have? Yes, swap. Okay, cool. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll uh, we'll finally try it out. You guys can see this on camera where um, <laughs> why I've been losing so much score. Like I said, we're not gonna make tier twenty-seven, so may as well uh, throw caution to the wind here. Um. <sighs> Okay, so she's going to stand here and pop this. I'm going to move him forward here. She's going to smite him forward here. And that's that. Uh, yeah. Oh, man, I forgot I don't have the... Uh, <laughs> I don't have panic now, which is annoying. Um, uh, let's see. So let's hit this. Well, it doesn't really matter because I guess Vector could just hit it. Yeah, and this is a little bit better because then I can put. What is your desire? I can put uh, Veronica like right behind him, right here. So that trap wasn't real. Let's have you yes. pop this. And then you come over here and pop this. Okay, so let's see what happens. Okay, so that was a huge waste of time. Uh, fortunately, she has this rally speed here, so. Ooh, that's actually kind of interesting now because here's what I want to do. I want to, I don't have a dancer. This is what happens, this is why you got to bring a dancer at all times, right? Mm hmm. Okay, let's see how they move. Ugh, that's stupid. It will be done. I, will find. I hate I hate this thing so much right here. It's like the most irritating thing in the universe. Let's go. Okay. Uh, for now, let's just push him back up again. Cause she, I need her to pop this, cause it's it's already just like I'm not gonna not down with that anymore. Okay, Rinka's still an idiot. It's actually helping them a lot here. That uh, she's that stupid. Okay, so let's try over here, and then we'll we'll do it. That we're kind of running out of turns too, cause I just spent a bunch of turns doing nothing. Yeah, that should have been my first priority, but I wasn't thinking. Okay, so now she's going to attack and she's going to die. There you go, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so this is perfect because now that leaves... Because the reason I... I mean, I could have just attacked um, Rinka earlier with her, but I, I didn't have a dancer, right? Like I said, so there was no way to uh, deal with that. And unfortunately, this Rinka, her AI is smarter than it really... Well, not I mean, not smarter than it should be, but like, I don't know why it's like moving the way that it is um so yeah she i feel like she keeps rallying which is starting to annoy me a little bit uh here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna move him down here and then swap with her so he's gonna be here and then i'm gonna push her up there so that she's gonna come over here and attack me hopefully Actually, well, actually, let's take a look at this. I want to see how much uh, how much damage I can do to this Rinka with my Vector. Like, what, what my Vector uh, can... How well he can handle her. Um, I don't have high hopes for her at all, but... Um, for him at all, but we'll see. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's see what this Rinka's doing. Whoever designed this Rinka uh, deserves a prize for being, like, a humongous douche. Uh, so okay, so she's gonna die. Yeah, see, this is annoying. They're just gonna keep doing that. 
I hate rally traps with such a passion. Um, so she's going to attack me, hopefully. Uh, this Rinka just keeps dodging. I hate this so much. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't. It, it, it befuddles me, I guess you could say. And then I don't have a dancer, which is even more annoying because, like, this would be perfect, right? Because I could put her here. I think I'm just going to do that. Let's put you there and then we'll um, reposition you here and then we'll see where that goes. Okay, so let's see what happens now. Okay, so Rink is out of movement options, so that's good. Oh, I don't kill her! That's that's a first. That's kind of interesting. She doesn't die from this. So let's see what this dancer is going to do. Okay, so she's going to just dance her and have her kill herself. Okay, that's perfect. So as you can see, Bector is uh, pretty beastly uh, when you bring him into the right comps and whatnot. Yeah, so as long as you're just not an idiot. Um, and there you go. I, I'm not sure we can still win this though because uh, we're running out of turns and we still have to kill that uh, this guy here. What turn are we on? Oof, we're cutting it close. Where we are, we are indeed cutting it close. Let's uh. She can sound one, two, and then hit here. So let's um. You have my trust. Let's go. Can you move? No, she can't. Okay, so we're just gonna put you here and hit her. I will just hit you and uh, let it do what it what it do. Uh, I could not get a follow up attack on her for some reason, right? Doesn't this give you? Oh, so only when they initiate combat. Okay, yeah. So only when they initiate, you get the follow-up. You don't uh, get the double. I forgot about that. Um, let us put you here so she gets the so he gets the uh, dragon effectiveness to fight against him, and then we should be done. With utter certainty. Yes. Yeah, I'm kind of figured that's what that was going to be. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Can we kill him in the one shot? We can in well, yeah, even the one shot. I don't have to worry about that. Um, okay, cool. Uh, so that turned out about as good as uh, it could have hoped with a few minor irritations here and there, of course. Um, so yeah, for those of you who can see, this is a plus two vector that I've never even like pulled specifically for vector. I've always pulled for anything other than vector, and then I've gotten vectors. Um, so for those of you like, hopefully, if you got like a plus one or e like even just a plus one would be pretty pretty darn strong. Um, tier twenty five. Uh, let's go take a look at them real quick. So yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, I mean, the fact that this, I mean, probably the one of the bigger things is the fact that this takes off uh, armor effectiveness, just makes them more versatile and usable and everything. Um, but, like, it's just weird how much they gave him. So, not only did, like, he already had that, he didn't have this, so they gave him this. Um, if you say, so he had this, but it was, like, at 50, so now it's at 25 for some reason. Uh, but then on top of that, they, they stacked on the the fact that he he just negates penalties, which I'm not entirely sure what's up with that. Um, but there you go. And then to further add, like just I mean, like that refine would have been good enough. But then they added on top of that the the ability to um, for one deny their follow up attack, so now he's even tankier, uh, as well as like basically just give him lull attack defense three, uh, my, uh, six. I mean, like obviously. Like four, like low attack defense four probably would have come out and it would have had like minus five to both. So maybe this is five, low attack defense five. Um, but yeah, like it's, I mean, it doesn't negate their their special or their, what's it called, their their bonuses. But still, it's like, it's it's very strong that you just drop someone by six attack and defense. Um, it just makes his bulk like insane on top of how bad it already is. Uh, so yeah, let, let's, uh, let's get this last attack in. Uh, let's switch over to this just in case we don't, uh, so we don't mess that up. So I have three teams now. I have 
this, this one, and then the one with the dancer. Yeah, her dance or him dancer, and then these two. Um, so let's go check out this map. Uh, she's here already, so I'm already kind of stressed out. Um, I need to test this trap, but I think the play is to stand here, hit her, put uh, what's her name here, dancer, and then hit her, and then um, deal with all the rest of this as it comes. Uh, of course, everybody puts on the. Uh, well, not everybody, but like that's a lot of investment for a uh, for a wand user. What's the skewer? So this is actually kind of worthless. I think I feel like they should have given her. He should have given her some like for for all the fodder they gave to her. Like look at all this fodder. Like I think a better wand. There's a there's a there, eh. I think there could have been a better wand. Is my um what I'm what I'm thinking there. Uh, but this isn't the worst thing in the world. So I think I'm just gonna hit her. Hit her. This is the two. This is the only two real threats on the team. Now, the now her, like like I said, she's one of the greens that like she can beat reds sometimes, depending on the circumstances, right? Uh, so it, it's important to keep in mind like her her the fact that she's not like a, just a pushover, uh, especially I mean look at that forty nine uh, defense, like, even with the giant broadleaf fan, it's like not that not going to be easy. Uh, Rania, I think partially like. I, I kind of ha half want to just like come up this way and then snipe her real quick, but I'm not gonna have enough time to snipe her and then like deal with these two units. But like the prim the primary amount of their kill potential is coming from these two, so I think I'm just gonna focus on them uh, and then deal with everyone else as they come. So hopefully, so I'll snipe them. We'll do this on turn two. So we'll snipe them. Okay, good. Turn two comes around. Hopefully these have moved. Like I just need her to move over one extra space. Do they have? No, they don't. Okay, so one extra space over. Can I kill her? Nah, she's gonna be hard to kill too. But I need her to move over like one extra space, and then this will hit her, and we should be fine, right? Or I could probably just do this. Well, I'll probably I think I'll wait till turn. No, I think I'll have to wait till turn till turn two because I gotta test this, I gotta clear all this crap. Um, but yeah, so I just gotta wait one extra turn for. Oh no, actually, yeah, she's in range. No, I need her to move over one more, um, and then I'll hit her with the trap, and they should both be easy to kill after that. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, fortunately they don't have that, um, limited movement thing. Okay, so, let's take a look here. Like I said, I gotta go test out that trap. Oh, you're not doing very much here, and you're putting you there. She has no movement, right? Oh, she doesn't have any movement. So I think this might just be an easy task of like baiting her out. Nobody else has any movement. Let's just put her there and see what <laughs> see what happens. Um, yeah, this looks kind of dumb. I'm not gonna lie. This doesn't look like it should work, but whatever. Okay. So let's see how they start moving. Okay. So basically, just the obvious. Um, See, like, sometimes she does, like, she hits that, she hits for nothing, and then other times both attacks hit for, like, a million damage each. It's really annoying. Okay. So now, hopefully, they all start funneling a little bit. Yeah, so they're, they're all moving this way. She didn't move at all for some reason. Um, if I smite her forward, she's going to land here. Yeah, no, I don't really want that. Um, I'm going to flip you. Okay, so I, I am doing literally no damage to this person. None whatsoever. Hmm. Yeah, I knew that was fake. Okay, I knew that was real, I mean. Okay, so she's a dancer, so I gotta watch out for her and be very careful of her. I love Tethys' voice actor. It's very nice. Very, very soothing. I guess is a good word for it. Okay, so she's gonna move forward. Okay, so it's t we're at turn three now. Okay, so now I should be able to kill her, right? No. <laughs> 
Uh, wow, she has three. That's insane, dude. That's a lot of, like... Lack of kill potential I have on her. Um, okay, so this is... Oh, that's very interesting. Um, so she has a minus six from the buff, which means that she's still open for another minus seven from the... What's it called? So that's, that's, that's interesting. Let's hit you. Uh, I really need that. I really need this not to be the trap. I guess we'll hit you. Okay. You have my trust. Of course. We'll hit you now. Yep, so now we're doing real damage. Uh, I really want to kill her though. Wow, she's not gonna. Okay. Only 18 damage to her. This is one tanky, uh, tanky individual. Hopefully, I can kill her on the re on the retaliation. This is actually pretty risky. Um, she has iceberg. <sighs> Let's just kill her. There we go. So she's dead. Uh, the, the thing that concerns me is if I put her here and hit her, I hit her twice for 18 damage, which means once for 18 damage, which means I can one shot her. Sure. But next turn, she's going to come over here, heal her, and she won't be at lower than 18 anymore. And I won't be able to one shot her back. She's going to double me and I'm just going to die is the, the, the main problem here, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, let's take a look. So we're gonna we're probably gonna lose Felicia, which is fine. Yeah, so she heals her. Twenty-four by two, but one of them is gonna be an iceberg charged hit. Yeah. So this is iceberg and I'm just gonna die. Uh, how much damage does this do? Like forty five? That's a lot. Um the last thing I I you know, there's no not much else I can do here. Ugh. What the actual hell? Yeah, the, my last hope was like, leave. Like, if she had stayed here, I could have smited her forward here, and then just come up here and hit her, and then fought the rest of these two um, as best I could. But now I'm there's there's nothing I can do. Um, yeah, it's kind of over. Okay, so that's interesting. Okay. Okay, so let's just hit her. See if I can kill her. I cannot. Uh, 69. I don't know why they're not uh, taking her. Oh, I guess. Oh, it's because she's. Uh, she's damaged. I don't even remember what she got damaged from. Um. Should I like flip her up there? Do you think she'll survive that? I, I seriously doubt she's gonna survive getting hit twice by this person. And I gave her the close guard. Oh, I didn't realize I gave her close guard. I don't remember when I gave her that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I gave her a lot of stuff to patch up her defense because I usually just hit use her to hit uh, tanks. Uh, and then this gives her <laughs> and then this gives her defense. Um, Yeah, I think we lost this one, I guess. Okay, wait, maybe, maybe not. Okay, so she's getting debuff seven here. Thirty-one by two. I don't know why she has that beard on. I'm gonna take that off. It looks so silly. 
been there for a while too. Okay. So yeah, this isn't going to go very well either way. Let's see how much damage she can do against her. That's actually pretty good. Um, let's try. Yeah, let's try this. Let's uh, let's hit you with you. Oh, and I got the glimmer. Perfect. Okay, so we're hitting her for two. Well, I can't believe we won this. I mean, obviously we didn't get the perfect because uh, of whatever, but uh, we actually did pretty well. Okay. Uh, actually, well, I mean, I guess I'm counting my chickens before they hatch, aren't I? Um, I'm assuming we're gonna win this because I can kill her, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was the the last thing I like the last caveat. I was like, wait, do we? Can we even kill Erica? Uh, there we go. So. Very cool. Uh, looks like uh, what's her name? Anna actually just you know did something there at the end there, so that's that's pretty cool because she has done nothing like all uh, the entire time. She just kind of died. Well, not even died because like she, I usually try to keep her out of the way, <laughs> but um, that's kind of that's kind of interesting how how close we are because we're at tier twenty five, and even then we're at like we're in top seven k. That's kind of weird. Cause like we're like just out of range of the top six K, right? Which is a chair. That's kind of interesting. Astra's always been weird to me with with uh, their like the ranking and, and how that works. But anyway, um, yeah, that was this week. Uh, like I said, a lot of um, some pretty tough matches. Just like tough, you know. Period. Like even when I tried using Felicia, like you know, just the main matches. Uh, but also a lot of them were kind of lost. I lost a lot of um, what's it called? Escape ladders. Uh, thanks to Bector. Um, not, well, it wasn't really Bactor's fault. As you, as you guys saw there, Bactor's very strong in, in the right positions, in the right uh, teams, in the right... Um, you know, you just got to pick your targets. and You can't just, like... He's not just going to destroy everybody. Um, the way, you know, some of us might, like, think he does or, or might want him to. The way I kind of wanted him to. Um, but it was just sort of like, like I said, it was, it was more my fault. I didn't pick uh, proper things to take him into, and I just got kind of stomped on. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, uh, everything went pretty well, I guess. Um well as it could have tier uh, tier 25 7k uh, not tier 27 this week unfortunately but it is what it is um but yeah hopefully we'll be back to it uh next week uh in terms of doing good so be fighting against uh, the same people i'm gonna bring anna see how she does during light season um she sh it should be a little easier in light season because i don't have to worry about like because right now i have to reposition her to get the bonuses so that her huge fan does something but now on light season we have like peony and all those other bonuses that are running around everywhere so she should be a lot better about that um, but yeah so there you go that's that's it for today um hopefully hopefully we can get back to our regularly scheduled program of uh reaching 227 but uh yeah 